All right, so in the last lecture, I gave you a little challenge, and I told you, you know, to grab this variable right here, loop through it, and echo out the results. I'm pretty sure most of you did it, but I'm going to show you my way of doing it. So I'm going to create a for each loop here, all right? And this is not the right way of doing it because we're not supposed to be echoing anything out from the controller. Remember that we need to actually use views. All right, but we haven't get to that got to that point yet. I want to show you how this is done first. So let's say I'm gonna have a for each loop, and I'm going to call this results instead. Actually, you know what? Result is fine. I leave it as result, and I'm just gonna call this object. All right. So we can say echo object ID all right so let's go and see how this looks let's go here let's go to localhost CI index and then we are in the users controller and then we are in the show method there we go and as you can see we're echoing one why are we echoing one? Because we only have one user. All right. So if we wanted to have another user, of course, we have to go to our database and create one. Let's go ahead and create one real quick. So let's go to errand underscore DB and users table, insert, and let's create another user called Suave, password one, two, three, and four. Now let's go to localhost and enter and now you can see that die users ID came here also all right to see it in a better format we can always put a BR tag right here of course like this all right and we can see that in a new line there we go right here right all right so we can see that we can do that of course each of the columns in the database in the table users turns into a property all right the object all right would be the um, the table right so that that table users we will, will become the object and this will be the columns will become the properties so we can of course echo out the passwords as well as you can see right here or even the usernames. Beautiful, right? All right, perfect. So hopefully you're seeing how this actually uh, becomes really easy to manage. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. On the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to properly use this with a view. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture.